Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we're ready to shade today. We're going to. <laughs> we're ready to shade today. Yeah, we're ready to shade today. <laughs> um, I'm Chelsea. This is Brianna, and this new face is Taylor. Hey guys. <laughs> um, we're going to go over some fun DIYs for the fall with you. Um, last time we did a spooky Halloween shade. Um, this time we're going to do some pumpkins. Um, I'm just getting ready for fall. I mean, it's like we're in the midst of fall now. Yeah. So like that's a lot of fun, and Thanksgiving's the next big holiday that I personally am going to celebrate. I know there's so many this season, um, but I'm excited for fall festivities. Um, what are you guys doing for the fall? I know you live out of state. You just go to college here. Yes, I'm going home to California for Thanksgiving. I'm very excited to see my dogs. <laughs> I should be with them the whole week uh, in my bed. I don't blame, I don't blame <laughs> you. Up. I don't doing blame nothing. you. <laughs> and Brianna. I will be out. Uh, you guys won't see me for a little while. Hopefully little Taylor will have made his arrival by then. Uh, I'll be out in maternity leave and he's coming around that time, yeah. possibly on Thanksgiving. Hopefully so, not. You want to enjoy Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. So you guys won't see me for a little bit, but those are my plans is just yeah. having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> those are some pretty intense plans. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. all excited to meet Lucas, so it'll yeah. be fun. Yeah. But while so. she's out, me and Tyler will be the faces, and along with Ashley and Bree, so if you watched a couple of our recent lives, um, they did their first one, so they'll be helping us out too while Brianna's out. But just in case you don't recognize the faces, we're all we're all here, we're all ready shade. We're, gonna we're help ready you. shade today. Yeah. <laughs> we're, you know, as you know, I can never talk on these, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... I don't know. I'm just excited to eat a bunch of food. Yeah, me too. Like, That's I'm my favorite part. Yeah, yeah. I, I have eat... a feeling I'll be hungry. Yeah, yeah, probably <laughs> for sure. Because you, I mean, I would be. There's yeah. gonna be so I'll many be foods. Starving. I don't know. Like, I know there's a lot of foods that you're not supposed to eat no. because you're pregnant. So I don't know if like your family will make any food that you're finally allowed <laughs> to eat. But I would definitely like start eating a bunch of food that I'm. Oh, if he comes before Thanksgiving, I'm good. I'm yeah, clear. I can eat whatever I want. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, hopefully he comes before Thanksgiving. <laughs> Yes, so, you better. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. But hopefully not today, though. No. Well, somebody made a joke today. about that earlier, and I was like, let's not. <laughs> like, not during the, the, our Amazon. Not, not yeah, let's not do that. Like, I'm good on that. I don't know about you guys, but we're good. <laughs> but, yeah, so I guess we'll go ahead and get started today. Um, One of the fun things, uh, you know, obviously you guys know we love doing these DIYs. Oh, yeah. um, although, you know, we're doing a fall one. Um, I know you guys are already doing Christmas decorations. Yeah. Uh, As we, of November yeah. 1st. Seems like 12 a.m. Yeah. It was Christmas. Everyone started yeah. Christmas decorating. <laughs> but, you know, we want some decorations for the t by the table, right? Yeah. For Thanksgiving. So that's why we decided to go ahead and do one. Yeah. Before the Christmas one. Yeah. So. Plus, personally, some of my pumpkins, because I didn't get to carve pumpkins this year. So mm -hmm. all of my pumpkins that I have outside are still good. Yeah. I saw pumpkins outside with my mums, and I wanted to do fall stuff. Let's still. enjoy November just a little bit yeah. more, guys. Let's enjoy the fall a little yes. bit before it's gone. Yeah. So, we decided to use all of our leftover scraps that we've had from projects before where we've installed shades. Um, so, literally every piece that we've made today with a pumpkin is a leftover scrap. So that's a big thing for, you know, we do these DIYs to show you that, you know, yeah, we are shades. That's the primary use for them. Yeah. Hopefully you don't just buy our paper shades and you're like, oh, let me just, you know, make a craft out of them. Hopefully use them as shades. Yeah. But, you know, the extra that you're going to cut off to fit your window or if you buy, you know, a two, four, six pack. Six like, packs. If you have an extra one that you just don't need because you have five windows, like you can just make one into a craft they're fun yeah. for your kids or fun for adults just something to take up time um perfect for the holidays de yeah. decorating yeah or if you want to add to your window for to decorations like we did for the halloween one yeah. with the ghost we literally put a ghost on a shade you could even put these pumpkins on it yeah um, you can do hang whatever. them on the windows yeah i mean if you have the scraps we are all about recycling here so and reusing yes yeah, so like why throw them out? Just use yeah. them. We literally just had these in the closet, and I took a pile of them and, you know, made them into what they are. Yeah. Um, so don't think, like, you know, you get your shade and your original pleated shade. Sorry, you can't really do this with Easy Lift. But yeah, don't try this with Easy Lift. <laughs> yeah, <don't. laughs> but with the original shade, yeah. it's perfect. Yeah. Our original shades, you know, the arch or the pleated, work fine for this. Um, just that's what these are. They're arch and original. So yeah. it's a lot of fun just to kind of 
go in and do something different with our products. Um, yeah. We love crafting. Too. Oh yeah, that's we all love crafting. We, we love, love to craft with the them. whole office here loves crafting. Yeah. So somebody walked in earlier while we were doing the ones on the wall, and they're like, "What is this arts and crafts time?" And I was like, "Yes, like, it is actually. Thank you for noticing." Um, but yeah, so that's what we do here, and just want to share that with you guys. A couple of things that you'll need. You can see we did a couple of different colors. Um, we mostly used white shades, right? To mm -hmm. on these ones. So they're white, either fabric or paper shades. Mm -hmm. um, you can use either one, just depending on like, I guess what material you want it to yeah. like look like. It overall looks the same from fabric to, I feel like from fabric to paper, yeah. it overall looks the same once it's the spray The yellow painted. is on natural. Okay. So natural. that's yeah. not a white shade. And it may enhance the color. You can yeah. see we have two yellow ones and it actually enhanced the yeah, color. Yeah, it makes bit. it look like gold. Yeah, almost like a mustardy yeah, yeah, gold yeah, color. Because this was the yellow. Like, yeah. It's pretty yellow. We have like the colors that we used yeah. here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, have fun with it. Do different colors. That's what we like to do is, yeah. is change it up. Uh, but yeah, you can use either the original paper shades in any other colors because you're usually spray painting, painting them. It. Um, or the fabric works really well too. Yeah. Um, and I think the fabric sometimes takes in that color really yeah. well. So you can use that too. Um, but we used mostly, mostly white and a natural shade yeah. as well that we had scraps left over of. I had the idea too, if you know, you're at home and you're wanting to make some other things, um, the natural or the chocolate shades, um, you don't have to paint those if you don't want to, cause yeah. they're already kind of fall colors. So you can kind of just hang it up, um, make a cornucopia or yeah. just, you know, other size pumpkins or leaves or whatever. Like you can cut whatever you want out of these. It's just a little hard because they're pleated. But I mean, you could use whatever color. And if you want just that neutral color theme, if you don't want bright colors like this, the natural and brown look yeah. really good. Um, but they also look really good with like, you know, your natural shade. Different. That's why you yeah. put up the natural easy lift shade for this video. No. Yeah. Good um, fall shade. Yeah, it just looks good. It's just, you know, everything goes together. It doesn't look out of place. So it was a lot of fun. I will mention that this orange one is a paper shade and then this orange one is a fabric shade. So you can kind of see a difference, but not really. It's yeah. the fabric kind of gives it a different texture. Yeah, it's more of a look. texture. I guess yeah. close up. Yeah. You can see a difference. Maybe. Yeah, but it doesn't look that different. It's a different. Um, <laughs> if I can speak. But it just kind of, it looks cool. I like yeah. both of them. I don't think either of them like turned out too different. Um, and you can do whatever size too. And a couple of other things you'll need, uh, you if you prefer to use like the tacky fabric glue or if you like to use um, the glue guns, we like to use those because it's just fast. And yeah. It, it dries a lot quicker than the tacky yeah. glue sometimes. So that's some of the things that we use. Uh, but you'll be using that for sure too. We have this little um, foam, mm -hmm. um, like craft foam that you can just get it at, you know, on Amazon um, to cut out for the stems. You can use paper too if you wanted. It just, we saw that it was easier yeah. to cut this yeah. for just to make it look more like a stem. Yeah. <laughs> and it kind of sticks out from yeah. the shade as well. Um, and then really that's mostly what you'll need. You'll need like your usual installation. Mm -hmm. um, so like, You'll need a knife to cut the shade uh, to the size that you'll need. Um, and then we also put some of this foam on the back, but we'll show you that as we uh, go through this DIY. Yeah. Um, but we, those are just some of the items that you'll need scissors and you'll need scissors, scissors. to cut everything. Maybe too. a pen if you like to draw out your stems. I yeah. know that's what we did, so it was helpful. Yeah. Because the first one that I did, I freehanded and I obviously forgot what a pumpkin stem looked like. <laughs> so we're just not gonna talk about it, but these ones turned out great. Yeah. So. And uh, I'll let you kind of go through yeah. um, how to do the DIY with yeah. this pumpkin. So we've already glued this one together just to make it easier. But all you do is um, take the ends of it and press it together. And it'll make like a circle like this once you squeeze it. Um, and then once you have it in a circle, so typically you still have adhesive on your shade that you can peel off after you've cut the scrap out. Um, and then you can just stick it like that to stick them together to make the circle and that's perfectly fine. Um, and then what we did is we held it together and then one person put the hot glue all over the center right here, make sure to get in between the pleats and on every pleat so it would stay together. Um, you can use, like she said, the tacky glue. Just This one was made with tacky glue, it just took a lot longer to dry 
And then we push some extra foam on it just to keep it together and also give it a flat spot to hang on the wall. So this is what it looks like on the back. Doesn't have to be pretty because nobody's gonna see it. No. But And it's mostly just to hang against the wall too. Yeah. So then you are left with the front looking like this. And then you can use glue if you want for the stem or tape. I'm gonna use some glue and hopefully it'll just dry while we're talking. But all you do is put a little dab. I'm terrible with putting a little bit of glue. <laughs> I always put way too much. And then you just press it on there. Kind of wherever you want. Um, you can do it behind it or on top of it. We're just doing ours on top. And then that's it. And then once it dries, it's ready to go. And it's mm -hmm. kind of pumpkin-like. It's so cool. I don't know. My pumpkins are super secular. So Mine like, are too. No. Like, I just... It looks like this, but you can cut these to make it look more like a pumpkin if you want, or, you know, add designs, add different lines. You can get real creative with it, depending on how much time you want to put into it. Um, we just kind of kept it simple and circular. Yeah. Just easier. Um, yeah. But you can cut out of the shape, so once you have, like, the circle put together like this, you can just kind of, on the edge with scissors, go through it and cut to yeah. whatever you want. Yeah. Um, or, and then when you have it like this, too, you can take whatever other like paint you can go in to make the lines that pumpkins yeah. have to like shade it you, you can, do, can that too. do stuff like that um get really, as crafty as you want to get yeah it really just depends on whatever you want i mean options are endless here yeah. but that's pretty much what we did and then we just used a command strip on the back and we put it on this flat piece and we stuck it to the wall simple as that that's yeah, pretty simple and like i said this was just used with a scrap that we had so i mean yeah super easy did you talk about the um the spray painting and just yeah so earlier today um i came in and i laid all these out flat outside be safe with spray paint i mean don't do it in a small enclosed room no um, it stinks <laughs> yes and also don't wear like super nice clothes because spray paint just kind of goes everywhere i mean it's paint it'll fly yeah. onto you mine got on my shoes I mean, I knew it was going to happen. And also, check the weather, because I did it, and it was windy outside earlier, and it was going everywhere. Like, the paper, the spray paint, everything. Um, but I just used, like, an old blackout shade that we had, and just laid that out, laid all this stuff out on there, and spray painted it, um, the different colors. And then, I mean, if you want to wear gloves, you can. I didn't actually get my hands too messy, um, but I would do one side at a time. Like, I would flatten it and do one side at a time. Some of them I did between pleats to give it kind of like a different look. Um, and then just kind of did that. Um, and then I laid them flat to dry, um, just kind of out. We have pillars outside our office, so I laid them between the pillars so they wouldn't blow away. Um, but that's how I did that. It took me probably 10 minutes to spray paint all of these, um, just because I was going back and forth and doing the front and the back. If you only want to do the front, you can. You don't have to do the back. I just did both. Yeah. I don't think gives it, really... it like a, I guess, darker. Yeah, color it just makes it a more sides. solid color. But you'll le need to leave it for a couple of hours. You don't want to yeah. like leave it for leave it for some a good time. Yeah, we of time. left ours for about three hours. Yeah. Um. So that was enough time to come in, and it was it was dry. The fabric does dry faster. Yeah, the paper does sometimes. It takes longer. Yeah, especially if you have one of the shades, like if you use an art shade that has a light blocking material yeah. on it, that that was a little longer to dry, and longer. it was a little harder to spray paint because yeah. it kept like sliding off. Um, but that was what I did. Um, just get whatever colors you want. I'm sorry, moving the table. <laughs> uh, get whatever colors you want. We had orange, yellow, green, and like a maroon red color. And they were all pretty fall colors, so no. I went with that. Um, but like I said, just be safe. Maybe if your kids want to do this, help them spray paint or yeah. use... You can use regular paint, paint them. That just takes a long time. Yeah, I would recommend <laughs> the spray paint for yeah. sure. I think it's a lot faster. Yeah, so that was, I mean, it worked out yeah. well. And did you go over the size, the different sizes, like how to get it to a different size? Yeah, so I didn't really cut. We cut the yellow ones in half. Yeah. Um, but yeah. since these were just scraps, I didn't actually cut them. But you can, before you make it into a circle, just cut however much off you want. Um, just like cutting to or install your window, your window yeah. um, how you shorten it that way. That is how you can change yeah. the size if you want. Um, if you already have it in a circle, you can still make it smaller if you want to. Yeah. You would just start at one end, like cut on one of the pleats, and then cut all the way around to the size you want. Um, 
It's just a little harder that way. Yep. The different size is literally just the width of it before you yep. connect it. But yeah, you can just cut it again yeah. after you have it connected and just cut it through the edge. Yeah. Um, that works too. Yeah, way. it's super easy, super fast. I mean, we took a little bit of extra time with gluing because we were trying the tacky glue and then we had to find a glue gun, but yeah. it worked well. Um, definitely recommend the hot glue gun. <laughs> yeah, definitely recommend that and something to put on it that's flat on the back, even if yeah. that's just a piece of paper, um, but just something so it has that. But other than that, that's really all you need for this. So just Very scissors, uh, glue, spray paint, craft foam, just paper scraps from your yeah. original shades and command strips if you want to hang them. Now, if we didn't want to hang them and you just want to put them on your shade, um, you can even just clip them with the original clips that it comes with if you're not using those or command can go on there yeah. too or just tape, whatever there. you want and um, just get creative with it. Yeah. And they're paper so you can put them in all kinds of different places. Yeah. You can scatter like smaller ones on the table for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Make little name whatever. places for yeah. like the little ones. Oh yeah, yeah it's gonna just, be cute. I mean, you could do whatever you want with them. This yeah. is just our little fun pumpkin wow. DIY. But We love to do DIYs. Yeah, <laughs> and then on our Amazon right now, we have products linked. Um, they're on sale. Some of them are on sale. Um, I included, we used a blackout shade. Um, that one's on sale. There's a couple other original ones, the white natural, and then some easy lift shades that are on sale too. So check those out. Yeah. Um, and our next live is coming up November 18th at 1230 Eastern time yes. where Ashley and Bree will be back and they will be talking about Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. So don't miss that one because yeah. we know you're going to want to shop and get all the good yeah. deals you can. I know I will be. Um, so just make sure to mark your calendars. That one will remind you, obviously, like we do every time. But we'll be back soon. And then me and Taylor will be back in December to do some more winter DIYs because that's yes. just it's fun. It's yeah. the best thing <laughs> to best. do. We love it. And the good thing about it is you don't have to be all artsy. You just mm -hmm. kind of just have fun with it. And so. you can keep them after. Like, yeah. save them with your holiday decorations yeah. after they're done and reuse them next year. Yeah. So that's all we have for you guys today. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to us and we will get back to you. And we just want to wish Brianna a fun, <laughs> like, <laughs> motherhood journey. I hope it goes well, honestly. I, you're going to do great, so we're not worried about it. But, uh, yeah, we hope you guys have fun with that. And we'll definitely miss you. <laughs> I know everybody's waiting for you to come back already. So we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Make sure to follow us and so you can catch the next live. So make sure to hit that follow button below. Thanks, guys. Bye. It's always so